Hey community, I hope you're taking good care of yourself during these unprecedented times. I know how difficult it may feel to understand what our world and humanity is going through. To me, it's a reminder of how small humans really are and how little control we really have. So my advice from a middle-aged trans woman who survived the domestic HIV epidemic, overcoming addictions and learning to unpack and embrace my traumas. Be visible. Be proud. Stand up to hate and xenophobia. Love and show up for what matters, for yourself, our community, and for each other. I love you. Greetings. My name is Vince Chrysostomo, and I've been HIV positive for over 32 years. Now has then, during this time of social distancing, it's important to have a sense of connection, a sense of community. So if you're hurting, reach out. Tell those you love that you love them because love heals. Be optimistic because optimism brings hope. One day this will be behind us. We will come together. We'll celebrate our resilience, celebrate the connections we've made having faced the pandemic together, knowing that when all is said and done, the community remains. Thank you for committing to a collective safety so we can continue being dangerous together. That dream of capitalism collapsing is near. You could witness it in the winged presence of birds being fearless in the sky, the bird song mixing with the demand of rent strikers, the mutual aid check-ins that mean more than moratoriums, and the laughter that is more sacred now than ever. During uncertain and isolating times like this, I've seen our communities show up for each other in very beautiful and magnificent ways. And time and time again, I see the abundance in our relationships. And it's very grounding to lean into these very relationships that I know will get us through hard times. Um, so I hope people have space to breathe, process hard feelings, lean into and appreciate slowness, and also celebrate the small mundane joys out there. Hi comrades. You are beautiful, you have a purpose, and you belong with us here and now. You have survived for a reason, so do not make yourself small. Do not question your gifts. We need you more than ever. Our ancestors survived so that we can change the world. So stay building and stay loving and stay together, comrades. I believe in us. Hey, Pink family. I wanna let you know I'm thinking of you and sending support through these chaotic times. I'm definitely readjusting to the new normal, but I'm reaching out to folks in the community when I feel alone and trying to stay positive. We will get through this by leaning on each other and we will be okay. Stay strong and stay well. Hey community, it's Naya. I just wanted to come on here really fast to let you all know that just because we can't be there for one another physically right now, you are not alone. And to those who may be feeling isolated, contact a friend, video chat with a friend, have a virtual happy hour, alcoholic or non-alcoholic. <laughs> and right now is a good time to practice some self-care. Mine is cooking and I've been doing a lot of that lately. And I've been pulling out some recipes that I haven't done in a long time. And honestly, it's bringing me a lot of joy right now. Um, so you know what we all are going to get through this and we're going to get through this together and we're going to be stronger for it our community always does i love you all have a good one stay safe hi my api lgbtq friends um my name is alice hom and i just wanted to share uh, a little something with you all Right now is a very difficult time. I'm feeling a little depressed and sad um, and a little anxious, but I'm having a little bit of gratitude because if I'm able to feel that right now, it's meant that I'm able to feel love, calm, and uh, joy from before. And I think that's all very possible to have again. So uh, stay safe, wash your hands, and um, let's keep connecting with each other. Thank you. Hey everyone. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of changes to all of our lives, and as we've always done, we'll continue to check in with each other 
and support one another and share joy. So try to welcome the changes, be like water, flow, and I think we'll all get through it together. Hey, a Bank. This is Anjali Remy. I'm here with you on this journey. Please know that we are in this together and we will get through this time. Be strong, be safe, and practice all the guidelines. And most importantly, make sure that you are checking in on your loved ones, your chosen family, the elderly, and bringing us together in this unprecedented time is the best thing we can do. And I am here only a phone call away, a text away, and I love you very much. And I am thinking of you and sending you lots of love. Hey, Aping community. I don't know about you, but lately I've been going to sleep kind of scared, like asking myself, um, am I gonna survive? Is this something that I will make it through? And it's actually how I felt during some of the worst years of the ep AIDS epidemic, when each week um, there were new losses and new sadness um, in my group. No one knew who would get sick next. Today we're living in a very different epidemic and yet in many ways the feelings can be the same. Feeling scared, angry, feeling helpless. So when I actually ask myself a different question, like how is our community going to make it? What can we do together? It feels very different. I feel creative and alive because being a part of something bigger and caring for others and being cared for is much more powerful than being on our own and trying to survive on our own. I just want to say that we have so much wisdom in this community about what we need to do together. And we have ancestors who are smiling and asking us to remember that we're not alone. We used to say um, we can outlive, outlast, and outlove HIV. And I think our community has the tools and the experience and the history to help us to outlive, outlast, and outlove this epidemic. Wishing you all well. Hello, A Pink fam. This is Zoe. Um, just wanted to share a couple of words of encouragement with everybody. First of all, it's uh, I'm so lucky to have A Pink as a community, and I think it's such a beautiful thing that we all have each other. And so even in this isolation, we can count on each other. Um, what else? <laughs> I had a friend tell me that this whole thing is uh, nature's way of forcing us all to take a collective breath. So I just offer that, that takes some time to just breathe. Yeah. Bye. Hey, A Pink family, just sending love. Um, hope everyone is taking care during this time, however they can, whether um, keeping in touch with friends virtually or making yourself some good warm food or taking solo walks. And yeah, um, make sure you, if you have the privilege of working from home to ask people who can't how to help um, virtually or from a distance. And yeah, I hope everyone is doing as best as they can and sending lots and lots. Of hey everybody, it's Kenji. Just wanted to say a few words about getting through this. Listen, as queer people of color, we've always made it through. I've been an activist since I was 17, so we're pushing 40 years. And I know that things are difficult, but we'll make it through. I really want to encourage you to have your feelings about what's happening. Don't just watch TV. Don't just stuff them down. Tell some friends. I have a good cry about every morning. I'm talking to as many people as I can. I'm doing what I can without putting myself at risk or others. So listen, take good care of yourself. And don't forget, we'll make it through. Thanks for your support. 
Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all taking care of yourself and staying safe and that you all get to be doing all the things that you love with the people that you love on whatever medium of communication works for you. Um, I just wanted to come and share some love, warmth, and maybe a hug if you would like and to remind everyone that we are a community of resilience and no matter what happens, the sense of love and home that we've built with one another will always be there for us to rely on. So if you want to add me as a friend or add me on Animal Crossing, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. In a world full of Facebook, full of Zoom, full of Instagram, and Twitter, and Tumblr, physically distant doesn't mean disconnected. And even though we may not be close to each other, we may not be next to each other, we can't hug each other and touch each other, we're still able to form community over our shared experiences through our likes, through our reposts, through our retweets, through our check-in phone calls, our video conferences. And we're able to get through this together because we're able to form community. Hi everyone, I'm Junior. Hi, I'm Alma. We know right now it's a tough time for many people, but we want to remind you that we have a strong community behind us. We've built this community together with caring and love and respect and organizing. And we have what it takes to get through this crisis together. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. Thanks, bye. Bye.